She and I exchanged text messages uh, even today. We're going to talk uh, early next week. Um, Marjorie's a friend. Marjorie's a friend, says Mike Johnson. But you know what's sad? One way friendships. He seems super genuine. He really likes Marjorie Green. She's his bestie, or is she? Because she was talking behind his back with another one of her friends, and it doesn't seem like she's big fans of him. Take a look at this. Mike Johnson has has made a complete departure of who he is um, and what he stands for. And to the point where people are literally asking, is he blackmailed? What is wrong with him? Because right. he's completely disconnected with what we want. Do you think he is being blackmailed? I have no idea. I, I can't comprehend Tucker what radically changes a man. He completely changed who he was, funded the FBI, gave him a brand new building, fully funded the Department of Justice that is persecuting everyone on the right and actually targeting our, our presidential candidate uh, for, for election this year, literally trying to put him in jail the rest of his life. We don't know who Mike Johnson is anymore, so there's no, t I, I can't comprehend it. I believe a lot of what she said there, not the specific claims about the FBI or the DOJ, but some of the stuff like I can't comprehend it, I have no idea. It's good to see her finally being honest in these interviews. The only honest answer Marjorie Green can give to a question and interview is I have no idea. And she should really stick to that more often. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. But what she said there is, or what's really underlying what she's saying is that she's mad at Mike Johnson. So Mike Johnson is the speaker. Mike Johnson is being arguably exactly what an objective observer would expect him to be as speaker. Absent maybe some considerations of how political pressure could cause him to go in a more maga -y direction than he's predisposed to. He's a religious whack job who mostly just wants government to kind of function for the benefit of the rich, but he doesn't want it to be utterly shut down. It's wackadoodles like Marjorie Green that want that. So she's not happy to say he's not the sort of speaker I want, or it would be great if we had a, you know, an extremist radical as speaker. She has to imply that he's changed, even though he doesn't appear to have. And she can't express how. All she has is a vague idea that he'll be black, that he's been blackmailed. And people are saying it. Which people? I don't know. She doesn't know, she doesn't cite any sources. She brings absolutely nothing to that wild accusation. And of course, she's being interviewed by a real journalist in Tucker Carlson, which is why he came back with tough follow up questions like, do you think he's being blackmailed? Well, thank you for that. She had no, she had no sources, she had no evidence, she had no anything and Tucker Carlson is down for it. Because lest you forget, I know a lot of you don't watch Tucker Carlson. He's not just the regular insane right wing populist Tucker Carlson. He is and has been since 2000 an out and out conspiracy theorist. Every single thing he discusses has to have something secretly working behind the scenes. And Marjorie Green is very similar, which is why it's not enough for her to be part of a faction in the house. That is not the same as the faction that Mike Johnson is ostensibly part of. There has to be something going on behind the scenes. There has to be money changing hands or like every one of you people are being paid by lobbyists, by business interests. You've never had a problem with that Marjorie Green, but all of a sudden he's being blackmailed into doing something wild like funding the government. Which is by the way, that's what Kevin McCarthy did. And of course, look. She's being consistent in that she hated when Kevin McCarthy did it. Now she hates when Mike Johnson did it. But arguably, that's the sort of person that's going to be able to get the broad support necessary to become a speaker, a person who at least wants things to continue. And look, even if you don't think that this is Mike Johnson's like strong commitment to serious governance, it could at least be political pragmatism, couldn't it? They're in an election year. Shutting down the government is a risky move. People like Marjorie Greene would assume or at the very least assert that that's just gonna hurt Joe Biden. But they're in charge, they'd be the reason it's shut down. Biden's already doing bad in a number of polls. Do you wanna throw a wild card like an extended government shutdown into the election that could potentially shift things up and allow him to recontextualize what's going on and remind people of why it's so dangerous, not only to have Republicans in charge, but for them to be specifically in charge of the House. Remember, their margin is down to like one right now, and it might not even last until election day. And so responsible Republicans are terrified of losing their majority coming up 
in the next few months. She's not worried about that. She's not thinking strategically or tactically or at all. And so just throw wild accusations that wild accusations that he's been blackmailed or that politically he's someone fundamentally other than who he is. And I'll give you an example of that. She had this to say, people are fed up with Republicans that say one thing and turn around and literally join the flock. I don't know why the, what's the flock? Like he's doing bipartisan stuff, so did Kevin McCarthy and just continue the same old crap everybody's tired of. Not everybody is tired of the government being funded, Marjorie Green. He has literally turned into Mitch McConnell's twin and worse. He's a Democrat. There's not even any daylight between him and Nancy Pelosi at this point. Now. If you wanted to, you could make a claim like that in a subversive sort of way and talk about the fact that, you know, while they focus on different things in terms of their rhetoric and they take different stances when it comes to social policy, when it comes to the business in like business interests and regulation, maybe there's actually more parity between those two than is popularly acknowledged. That is not what she is doing here. She's just claiming, well, I hate Nancy Pelosi and I don't like him so. They're the same. That's the best that you can hope from Marjorie Green. Um, she's really into this, the comparison of him to whoever else she doesn't like saying his Ukraine first agenda shows he's no different than Mitch McConnell. Ukraine first agenda, like he, he put up so many roadblocks to the funding for Ukraine. Like you, the idea is you gave it to him and we didn't get anything, but you could have gotten something. You could have gotten the border security bill that tons of whack job Republicans negotiated for the course of months. You didn't want that Marjorie Green and Donald Trump didn't want that. That's not a problem of Mitch McConnell and Mike Johnson. That's a problem of you and you should deal with it. But anyway, obviously I enjoy mocking her. Perhaps roasting her. I'm not the only one. You can see a lot of that on the mainstream media as well. Here is Jake Tapper. We should note that Congressman Don Bacon, who I don't know that I would call him a moderate, but he is certainly sane. He's in his from a swing district in Nebraska. Framed the situation for Speaker Johnson like this: "Quote, he's got a gun to his head right now, but we need to have a Churchill, not a Chamberlain, right now. He could be on the right side." Of history, I'm not sure that Marjorie Taylor Greene knows who Churchill or Chamberlain are, but those are that's a World War II allusion to standing up to Putin uh, in this case and Hitler back then. Thank you for defining the illusion. Uh, Marjorie Green might need that explanation, but I don't think she's watching Jake Tapper. I think all of us understood what he was saying there, and he's totally right. Um, and by the way, like obviously in a lot of things, I don't agree with Jake Tapper. I'm not necessarily a huge fan or whatever, but how happy he is. To have someone like Marjorie Green that he can throw around casual insults like that. Because Jake Tapper is not Rachel Maddow or whatever. Like he's supposed to keep it together more and not be as opinionated. But she is so insane and so stupid that even Jake Tapper can throw around things like that. So that's a nice treat for him. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.